Representing medicine, we'll be taking on Darren with humans. And have we worked out who's going first? Yeah, yeah, All right. Me. We're going to start things off with Darren. I'm going to warm everyone up. So do you want to know just how weird humans really are? Now today, you've all been clapping right, like crazy, right? Having lots of fun and a good laugh at the nerd's expense. But how weird is laughing? Why do we do that? The only species that does. What about clapping? What a strange thing to do. We think, oh, I like what is happening right now, so let me smash my hands together to express my delight. We're the only animal to do that too. Weird, huh? And we cooperate like almost no other animal can. Sit and clap together, laugh together, eat together, drink together, watch nerds together, watch sport together, all without killing each other. Well, mostly. Try that with our closest living relative, the chimpanzee, and see how far you get. Imagine a, chimp of, a troop of chimps sitting on Virgin Australia VF3 from Sydney to Melbourne. Flight time, one hour and 10 minutes. Survival rate, zero. They'd kill each other within minutes of boarding the plane, probably before it even got off the ground. Yet we humans just sit there quietly cooperating, minding our own business, not fighting, doing our own thing. Along walks the female chimpanzee up the aisle of the plane. Not a single stare from the males unless she's an estrus. In chimps, the time of fertility each month is marked by sexual swellings and an obvious interest in sex by females. Not in humans, we conceal our ovulation or fertility and females and males are interested in sex any time of the month, regardless of whether a woman can conceive or not. Some of us even use sex like we would a cigarette or a stiff drink. Sex is apparently addictive in humans. In most other animals, it's just about making babies and the survival of the species. And sex can apparently trigger transient global amnesia, a rare condition in which memory suddenly, temporarily disappears. What the heck is this human sex business? Weird. And certainly worthy of the attention of science, huh? Our butts are pretty strange in comparison as well. Chimps have built-in cheek pads or cushions to sit on, but we don't. We have to build our own. It's called furniture. <laughs> Girls like butts, boys like butts. It's weird when you think about it. What's so attractive about butts? Yet, we're the only primate that has a proper butt, and it really distinguishes the guys from the girls. We only have them because we walk on two feet. We're bipeds. We shave off our body hair and cover our bodies in lotions and smells to disguise our natural odours. And hey everyone, we're almost naked anyway. We're called the naked ape, and there you go, shaving off what little hair we have left. And don't get me started on Brazilians. And eyebrows, what's with that single strip of hair across the top of our eyes? Bring back the monobrow, I say. Stop plucking and waxing. We need more hair, not less. And our eyes, they vary from blue to green to grey, hazel and brown and every shade in between. And in cowboy movies, we don't shoot until we see the whites of our eyes. No other mammal shows the whites of their eyes. And what the heck happened to our fangs and teeth to make them so small? Evolution only gave us 32 of them, and there we go, not growing some of them now. Many people these days don't get their third molars or wisdom teeth. I've only got three. Does that make me only three quarters wise? So what do you reckon? Don't I just have the best science ever invented? Come on, do that weird thing with your hands and clap. <laughs> Thanks. I, I think I've, I was on that plane with those chimps. I'm, I'm pretty sure I, I was there. Um, and that, that's, that's a really good point about the, the human thing. The, the, the issue I have with that, though, is that when we talk about humans, we sort of tend to envision well, something like you, like, like males. Males are sort of the default human. And that is something I'm coming across with my research a lot. And it's weird because women have been around for a while, surely. Um, and, and I know that some of the scientists, that, especially the males that I know, haven't really seen a woman up close a lot, but it might be something to do with the way they smell, which is something um, he mentioned as well. 
And, and it's weird because, um, um, take for instance the mole rat. Have you heard the mole rat? There's this big hoo-ha about the mole rat, which is interesting because the mole rat itself doesn't look like a hoo-ha. It looks like the opposite <laughs> of a hoo-ha. Um, and the, thing, the funny thing about a mole rat is that they don't get cancer. And all the researchers in the world are going, oh my gosh, the mole rat. We, scientists unite, we must study the mole rat. And the mole rat going, ah. Um, and with that face, it's not something you want to see. Um, and, and sharks, we study sharks because apparently sharks live long because they have telomeres and, and go, oh, oh, scientists unite, get under the, the water, study the sharks. And all the scientists go, blah, 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 blah. And they study the sharks. And the thing is, women, who have been around and are much cuter than mole rats, most of us, and much nicer than sharks and have nicer teeth. Uh, women live longer in general, which makes us a lot like sharks. And women, yeah, no, there's other things that make us a lot like sharks, but it's the, it's the living longer that I'm focusing on right now. We also get, there are a couple of diseases that we don't get as much. We don't get as much dementia. We, uh, we don't get as much ALS or MS. And for some reason, we don't get the kind of respect the mole rat and the, the sharks do. All the scientists are going, yes, yes, under the ground, mole rat, sure. Yes, yes, under the water, little sharks. Women, they go, ah, ah woman. And, and they run for the hills, apparently. Um, so this is, this, is a, this is a weird thing, and this is why, uh, uh, why I'm trying to change medicine. And I'm, change, I'm trying to change all uh, the fields of science to, to think about the humans as male and female, and to not have males as, as the neutral default, and, and to study women, which is uh, why I study women's brains. They are there, gentlemen, we really have them. And, um, uh, and that's why I study that. I think that's, uh, that's all I have. Um, so yes, study more women, both pimps and, 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 uh, and the other ones, the ones that are on the flights. So. I was on the train with a couple of people, which I thought, you must be closer to chimps then. <laughs> than some people I know. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Yosin and Darren. You guys know the drill. Please write down both their names. <laughs>